Hello everyone and good morning. Welcome to Thursday's live tea break. Um, today we are going to be joined by Richard Pearson, um, who is presenting our demo stage for a second year running and also TV presenter on Filthy House SOS. So it won't be a moment, we'll just wait for him to join. Hello to everybody in the comments. Oh, we've got lots of people joining today. Hello everyone. Just waiting for Richard to join us. It won't be a moment. There we go. He's one of my favorite people. Hello. <laughs> hey, how are we doing? Good morning. <laughs> I'm good, Richard. How are you? I'm really good, thank you very much. Um, I'm on location, hence why I've got all this stuff behind me. So I'm doing a declutter job at the moment. I'm in uh, Kent at the moment. So um, just looking out into the garden, there's no snow. So that's a thumbs up for me. <laughs> Where'd you say you are? You're in Kent. Kent, yes. Ah, you're not far from me, I'm in Essex. <laughs> Come for a cuppa. Uh, come to my house. I've got work to do. <laughs> so have I. Ah, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, cool, so we'll just do a quick intro first. Um, yeah. That's okay, so for anyone who doesn't know who I am, I am Michael Rossi, show manager here at the Clean and Tidy Home Show. And I am delighted to be joined by not only a work colleague now, but someone I'd like to call a friend, Richard Pearson. If you'd like to give yourself a, a bit of an intro for everybody. Yeah, so basically, I'm a one-stop shop for cleaning. So I've got my own cleaning company. I'm a declutter king. Um, I do loads of tips and hacks. Uh, I'm also on TV. So I do, obviously, presenting on TV where we help. Well, we go to Britain's worst homes and we turn them around in a three-day uh, turnaround. So I do that as well. So I do pretty much everything when it comes to cleaning. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. And you're, you're also presenting our demo stage. You Absolutely. Were, um... I, sorry, I, for, I forgot to say that. No, 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 yeah. we've got loads of time. We're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I uh, was on the demo stage last year, last year. I presented it and uh, had an absolute wonderful time. Uh, and I'm back again, 14th and 15th of October. I cannot wait. I know, I can't wait either. But <laughs> we've got stories to tell, maybe stuff that we can't put publicly on here, but um, I hope maybe not. a bottle of wine with Georgina again. <laughs> Absolutely, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So yeah, you're presenter, Filthy House SOS on Channel yeah. 5. Um, you've got your own cleaning business, um, cleaning yeah. expert up in the Northwest. You're a family man. Literally, yeah. you've got it all. You've got it all. I am rocking it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm living my perfect life at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're, 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 tell, you're, you're a role model because I think this industry is very, um, it's very much female-led, the, 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 yeah. the cleaning industry, the tidying, decluttering, organising industry. And it's nice to see, you know, diversity and exclusion coming in from all angles yeah. and seeing a man at the forefront of doing this. So I really, I really admire everything that you're doing, Richard. It, oh, thank you so much. Um, I mean, I've been in, into cleaning pretty much all my life. We're going we're gonna to go into it in a bit later, but um, it kind of all started for me as a, as a child. And um, I always, I'm one of um, three children. I've got two older sisters, so I'm the youngest. That explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, and my mum said to me only a couple of years ago that as a kid playing up playing outside I would hate getting my hands dirty and I guess it kind of started from there and I've always hated dirt only bacteria and dirt is my enemy <laughs> <laughs> and I've kind That's of been true. cleaning ever since to be fair <laughs> nice. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought that because at the show, I remember at the the show when you first, you first, we first met each other at the show last year. And we walked yeah. around, and you were getting stuck in with everything, helping everyone, doing all sorts of yeah and stuff, all sorts. So yeah, I'm 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 a team player, Michael. You know, I'm a team player. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love to get stuck in. But I, I mean, obviously, I love to clean and I love to help people. You know, for example, I'm out here in Kent at the moment doing a declutter job. And, you know, I absolutely love doing it, but I hate getting my hands dirty. <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot of my staff that work for me would probably say the same. <laughs> yeah. You're getting a lot of love on the comments, Richard. I don't know if you can uh, see them all coming up, but you've got... Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Love all your yeah. tips and tricks. Yeah, um, thank you. Got somebody's asking about a the new series of 
uh, Filthy House SOS, if there's any information you can say on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So we've got, uh, there's 11 episodes that are sort of being edited. They need to go out at some point and then we'll take it from there. I think we did, well, there were three, three, three series. I did two. And I think Channel 5 are just kind of using all the catalogue at the moment, just, you know, basically using as much as they can. And then the next 11 will go out. And then at some point, me and Brennan, um, king of clean Brennan, um, it will be going out at some point and redoing the, the show. I mean, we absolutely love the show. And, and we get so many positive uh, reviews from people. I mean, I get so many people that, you know, touch base with me through my socials. Um, I had one last week from New Zealand uh, wow. saying they're watching the show and they absolutely love it. So, I mean, there's so much love for the show and I really do appreciate it. It, it, make, it keeps us going, you know, because it is quite a tough job. We, we, we live in the, the homes. It's true. We do actually move into the homes for, for three days. We sleep there. We eat there. And it is hard work. But, you know, we help people along the way. But when people, you know, come out and speak to us on our socials, it, it makes a difference to us. Yeah. Well, I suppose you're, you're changing people's lives and it's not just obviously just having a house that's, you know, maybe you're not on top of it anymore. These people really need help. And yeah. I think that, that's what I love about programmes like this and, and shows like this that we're putting on, that there is a lot of people where homes have changed since COVID, where people's homes and our offices and gyms and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and, and I think, you know, people, people just need help. Yeah, they do. And, and I think that's the element of the show that I really like. So, I mean, I spend a lot of time with the contributors, the people on the show, the people that we're helping, um, both on camera and a lot of it's off camera. And it's just, you know, digging into what's happened, you know, because clearly the wheels and the bus in their life has fallen off at some point. And yeah. it's, it's trying to establish when that started and, and then unpicking it and then hopefully getting them to the, a, a state of a home that they're happy with and then they can take it from there. But I mean, we're not psychologists, but we, we dig into the sort of mental health aspect, which, um, you know, I'm really passionate about. I'm doing I'm doing a charity walk for Mind in the summer. Um, I do bang that drum for mental health. It's something really close to my heart. Amazing, amazing. Well, we're we're working with um, Mind Tower Hamlets as well. Uh, and you, okay. So they're, they're part of the show again, which is amazing. But... Yeah. Yeah, for anyone that wants to donate towards Richard's Walk, go onto his Instagram handle, which is just <laughs> Richard Pearson, and the link should be should be on the bio to donate. Yeah, yeah, if you can. it's there. It's there. And if you can't find it, message me. I, I always message back. So anyone who wants to message me about stuff that's going on in the house or just general chit chat, I message back everybody. And it is me. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is me. Well, well, what we'll do is because a lot there's a lot of questions and comments coming on the live feed now. So what we'll do yeah. is we'll post this to the grid afterwards, and then if anyone does have any questions absolutely. for Richard, yeah. absolutely pop them on there. Yeah. But um, I want to hear more about the cleaning club. Oh, the cleaning club. So I want. Let me just stand up. Here we go. There, we there go. it is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I need one of them. Mine's yeah, you can have one. So let me just explain very quickly um, the diagram, the picture here. So I'm going to come a little bit close. Obviously, that's me. Uh, some people say it doesn't look like me, but there you go. Uh, that is that is actually my son and uh, my daughter, the back of my daughter there, and obviously the rest are, are random kids. So uh, the cleaning club, right? So it, it kind of all started for me on Filthy House SOS and those chats with the people on the show. There was a common theme that they hadn't been shown by their parents how to clean. And of course, situations in their life with their mental health and, and things have happened to them, but fundamentally they hadn't been showing. Yeah. And when I'm doing the show, I do a lot of mileage up and down the country. So I spend a lot of time in my car, I put my music on and it just sort of came to me and I thought to myself, oh my word, I'm not showing my own children how to clean. I'm just busy doing it myself because I go into my zone. And I thought I've got to try and you know, help my own children, but also maybe I can help other people along the way. So I set about kind of working on, on a concept that would be a blueprint to try and help children or parents teach their children and also help parents understand how to clean and what to do. I was really lucky. My middle sister is, um, she's a headmistress for a primary school. So I was straight on the phone to her and I said, how, how the heck do you pitch this at children? And what do you do? Um, and so we came up with 
you know, different age groups. I mean, these are all on my, on my website, Smart Cleaning HQ. But in brief, I broke it up into age groups, four to sevens, eights to elevens, and then 11 pluses. And um, the concept behind it is just making it fun in the first instance. Uh, the four to sevens group is sort of playing games. So can you clear the floor in your bedroom? So making space. <laughs> Um, maybe plump, plumping up your pillows. Eights to elevens, we move on to the next level, which is dusting and maybe using hoover or cleaning yeah. dishes. And then hopefully by the 11 plus uh, um, segment, that they're actually doing it themselves. Um, and in the main, my, my children are kind of doing it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it is challenging. You've got to be persistent. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the cleaning club. And, and the actual name, the cleaning club, which is quite interesting. Again, I was sort of in my car driving around. And I'm a massive Brad Pitt fan. Um, and uh, Brad, if you're listening, call me <laughs> <a fan. laughs> um, and We'll get him to the favorite... show, don't worry. We'll get him to <laughs> yeah. <the> show. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be there. Um, one of my favourite sh- um, movies that he did was The Fight Club. And um, when I was doing Filthy House SOS, we came up with, there's a, a phrase in it. I don't know if it's Brad himself or the guy he's, he's, he's playing says it. He says, the things you own start to own you. Mm-hmm. And I was driving around. I said, I really like that concept. And I thought, you know, let's make it simple and cleaning club. So I actually I actually copied the fight club and, and made it the cleaning club. And I think the opening um statement i made was the first rule of the cleaning club so again just you know a a tip of my hat to to fight club so yeah i mean that's pretty much it um i mean my my history in terms of cleaning um in in, as a child so i didn't like to get my hands dirty i got to about 10 11 and my mum said to me you need to start earning your pocket money um and I had to start cleaning my room and it was it was a reluctant job to start off with and then I started to do it and then I was like actually I quite like cleaning and I got quite focused on it so doing a wardrobe folding making everything really neat and tidy and organized and then yeah it just kind of went from there and and now to this point in my life that I love it it's a, it's my escapism cleaning is my escapism and it's given me a skill set that has A, got me on TV, it's provided an income for me, and I've met so many wonderful people from doing it. So just from that moment as a kid cleaning, it's evolved to where it is now. Amazing. So how do people get involved? I mean, it's difficult for me to come in because I'm not a parent. I've, I'm, I've got a fur baby, I've got a dog, <laughs> but I'm not in your situation yeah. or your position, so it's difficult for me to... Yeah, I mean, what I want to do is, uh, it's, it's, it's something I'm just giving out to people. So I'm doing it myself as a parent. So I'm kind of, you know, making the mistakes and ironing out any issues that you might have coaching children. And I'm giving it out for free. It's for everyone to use because I'm, I'm so passionate about cleaning. Eventually it's going to go into a book. I am kind of working on a book at the moment. Um, but yeah just go onto my website uh, smart cleaning hq and i'll do regular blogs on it and you can pick up the tips and 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 tricks to try and you know get your kids to clean tidy and organize <laughs> amazing amazing well what we'll do is we'll pop a link to um smart in there in the grid afterwards so if people want thank to go you on there, yeah yeah on there and uh and, and check it out thank you and, um, We've got a few more questions that are coming in. We might not okay. be able to go through all of them, but somebody, yeah. uh, so Claire Williams has said, um, what's the best thing to clean mould on a wall that keeps coming back after cleaning? Um, it depends on how bad the sort of mould is. Um, I would use, I mean, is it, it, again, is it wallpaper? Is it paint? You've got to be really careful. Um, but if it does come back, you've got to be really careful. Yeah. First, first with any sort of mould, you know, I would always use gloves and a mask. You know, you don't want to get that into into your lungs because it's it's going to hurt them um, in the long term. Um, I'd use a, a bleach based product. So um, I'd firstly try and identify how it's coming in and what's happening and, and and stop it from source. Then it will kind of dry out, and then I'd use just hot water, microfiber cloth put some bleach in it equal parts just be careful put your cloth into the water wring it out and then wipe it clean you might have to do it a few times let it dry out and just see how it how it how you get on with it but that's 
what I would advise. Um, I've got, I've had mould in, in my house and that's what I used. In the end, I had to clean it a number of times, but then I had to repaint my room as well. So yeah, it is a challenge. Everybody asks me about mould. Mould is a big no-no. Yeah. And mould can be really dangerous as well. It can be really yeah. dangerous if left untreated. So, I mean, Absolutely. for... For, for some people that might not might not like sort of cleaning or dealing with that kind of stuff, yeah. there are companies out there like um, we had the, the damp detectives last year at the show. Um, brilliant right. company that can assess exactly yeah. where the, where it's coming from, how to sort it out, how to deal with it. But of course, you can try and, and clean it yourself first. But remember to wear your gloves and your mask. Richard's advice. Gloves, masks. I mean, if you can wear goggles because you're dealing with bleach, you know, full hazmat suit, no, I'm only joking. But just be <laughs> really careful. I mean, f from my point of view, my home, I had to go back to source and find out where the problem was. And it was actually a gutter um, that was leaking in the corner of, of the back of the house. And it was just obviously over time that water was getting in. And of course, yeah. you know, damp, damp comes as a result. So I fixed that problem and then I fixed the bleach and then I repainted it and it hasn't come back. Perfect. Well, Man Cleany has recommended to yourself, Claire, Astonish Mould and Mildew Cleaner. That's for there you go. Man yeah, Cleany. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you can use, you can use, um, you know, your own sort of hatch. You can use white, white vinegar. There's, you know, an acid sort of, acidic sort of product um, that will do work as well if you want to use natural products. Perfect. Perfect. Okie doke. And then we've got, um, we're coming up to the end of our tea break, but we've got somebody else that's Snow Fox Go said, thank you for the positive representation of men doing this important work. Love the show. Snow Fox, I'm loving that. Snow well Fox done. Go. Yeah, Snow <laughs> Fox it. Go, thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, we're coming up to the end of our tea break session. So I'd like to ask just one more question, if that's okay and ask, what can we expect from you at the show in October? Oh, you know, I mean, obviously I did the demo stage last year. Um, so I'm, I'm hosting that stage. We have wonderful guests that are coming up. I mean, um, you know, you're able to see a demo, of what they do in front of you. I mean, there's some marvellous demos that we do. Um, you've got me on the stage, uh, so it's always going to be fun. There's going to be laughter along the way. Um, just a really uplifting, positive experience. And if anyone wants to come and see me, come and see me. Selfies are five pounds ago. <laughs> 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 and uh, but I'm always love speaking to anybody. So just come and see me. Perfect, perfect. Well, this year we've, we're we're going to be bigger and better. This year, and um, we've yeah. got loads more companies that have joined smaller companies, bigger companies. So we're really yeah. looking forward to uh, well, a real diverse mix of, of demonstrations absolutely. from lots of different different companies. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the thing that I really liked about, obviously it's only, there's only been one show, but it's a real family show. Um, you know, got someone like you, obviously Penny as well. And we've got big brands, you've got small independent brands. I mean, it's a plethora of loads of br brands um, and of course you're meeting, you know, you've got the, the Shine Squad, you've got me, um, you've got other people there as well. I mean, I had Lindsay, Queen of Clean there, um, obviously other people there as well. So yeah, it's just such a brilliant weekend. Come along, enjoy the vibe and the positivity. Amazing. Well, I can't wait to see you again if I don't see you I beforehand. I'm sure we will meet beforehand. I, I'm probably down in London at some point, so I'll, I'll send you a message. Nice. Well, you're probably closer to me now. You're in Kent. I know. <laughs> I'm coming round for tea tonight. Done. Done. <laughs> Come round. I'll, I'll cook you something nice. <laughs> there you go. That's not Done. a lie. That's going to happen. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <what> I said. <laughs> All right, Michael. Thank you. Perfect. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Um, that's been myself and Richard Pearson. If you've got any questions at all for Richard, I'm going to pop this onto the grid in about ten or so minutes, and then yeah, we will go from there. But. Thanks Thank so much you. for your time, Richard. And I'll Anytime. See you, see you later, guys. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.